Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. Hello there! If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook Adrian Rickford. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that, Tate. From... One of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Uh oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Dad. That was great, Ben. We're finally where we were meant to be all along. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point I settle for just a little peace and quiet. I'm not in here. 
then. I thought you said this thing couldn't move. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Well, flying would be nice since we're headed for the gorge. You pervert. You're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben. Don't ruin the ending. How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit! Nothing. Ben, what did you do? Ben! Ben! Are you alive? I am, but I don't know about Rip Burger. I can see him. He's out cold. Climb back here, quick! Careful, Ben! I'm taking you and your friends with me, Ben! All you're taking is the wrong kind of medication. By his own rules, he was a mystery to most of us, and yet an inspiration to us all. 
He gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. Thank you, Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream that will never die. So... So... Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now. And living in a mansion and riding around in limos. That doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But Ben... <sighs> Just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. <sighs> Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 good, great.
population is greatly decreased And now the odds are greatly increased That I may someday get a chance To kiss your lips I thank the Lord each day For the apocalypse Folks are mostly disfigured or dead But sugar, I won't let it go to my head My mama's face has dripped down into the dirt But I'm still chasing Chitlin's whiskey and skirt Thank you. 